tools we're using today, masking tape, flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, ratchet with an extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. So here's the door panel, which we're going to have to remove to get to the window regulator inside the door. We're going to start by taking a flathead and pry out that little tab right there behind the door handle. And then get the Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the screw right behind that. And this is what that screw looks like. The next step is to pull the door handle to the side. We're going to pull it to the right or push it to the right. The reason for this is because there are hooks on the back of this door handle which hook into the door frame, which you'll see right after we take this off. Now here's a shot of these hooks. They're like L hooks and they go into those three black square holes on the door frame. And that's a picture so you can see what they look like. Now once you pry it out of the hooks, you'll see a rod on the left side, which is held in by a plastic clip. We go ahead and get the flat head and push that clip back so the rod can come out. And there are two plugs on the back. Go ahead and we can use the flat head to push down on the tabs or you can use your fingers. That's how you remove the door handle. Next up is a screw down below. It is a Phillips. We just got to put that in and drive it out. And sometimes these get stuck, so you might have to go ahead and start hitting the door panel to get the screw out. And that's what it looks like. Now, there aren't any more screws holding the door panel in. There's actually pressure clips behind it. And the way we pull these off is usually we find the bottom left corner of the door panel and then usually the bottom right corner. And you just have to gently pull back and these clips will, will come undone. And there we go. Now for the top, you kind of have to slide up on the left side. Slide the door panel up and then we slide to the left, the rest of the door panel. Now you don't want to pull back too far because the window switch still has plugs connected to it. So you want to go ahead and keep it right there and unplug those in the back. So here we are at the back and you'll see the tabs Right here, you can pull those tabs, push those tabs down, and then pull the plug out. And there's some, they're kind of hidden beneath over there. And sometimes these are pretty tight whenever you're pushing the tabs down, so you want to get your flathead if you need assistance. And you can push down on the tab and then pull back with your hand. Now these are the hidden ones down there. And then there's a blue one also we got to watch out for. And here are what the plugs look like. And this is the back of the door panel. Okay, so now that we have all, all the door panel out, we can go ahead and work on the rest of it, which is this white weather seal. This is usually held on by some kind of glue, and you kind of need to just rip it off, which can be hard sometimes. 
if yours you might not even have one on there if someone's opened your door up before so this one's pretty tight you gotta go ahead and pull it pretty hard And we kind of got stuck here, so we needed to use our flathead or similar tool to go ahead and break break the glue. And we kind of got stuck here, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward it. We use a screwdriver to break this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this weather seal. You, you just want to move it out of place to where you see these bolts. The bolts right here. We're also going to need to take out that blue plug. So make sure the weather seal is off enough so you can see that blue plug. If you need, you can just rip it a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and fold that and tape it using our masking tape so it does not get in our way. So now we got to get the window regulator plug free out of the mounting on the door. So we get the flat head and push down on the tab over here. And then we can pull the plug out. Now there's a clip that this blue part is on that kind of just pulls right out. And then you're gonna see two little white kind of clips right here. And they have the tab on the left and right side. Usually you just get your flathead, push down on one side of the clip and push, push it back inside the door. And that's gonna free all the wiring for the regulator. Okay, so the next goal here is to separate the glass from the window regulator. The glass is actually mounted on by two 10 millimeter bolts onto the window regulator. And there's a sliding track that it's, that it's on. So the goal is to get the sliding track into these two holes that you see to where you can see the 10 millimeter bolts for the window glass. And you see that it's mounted onto the regulator. And the, the trouble with that is, if your window motor is frozen, you're going to actually have to cut the cable. Either that or you're going to have to get some kind of tool and have a hard time trying to get those 10 millimeter bolts off of it. So if your window motor is frozen, we recommend cutting the cable. That way when you cut it, it's, it's free to move up and down. Now if your cable is already broken, you don't have to worry about that, about that because it can already move up and down freely. But if you're going to go ahead and cut your cable inside the door, which we'll show you how to do, make sure somebody's holding the glass up or tape the glass with masking tape. Now again, the goal is to get it to line up into those two holes, those access holes. And here we're going to show you one that's already out so you can get a better idea of this. So here's your motor. And you see the sliding plate right there. That's what the glass mounts onto with two 10 millimeter bolts. And then you see these cables we have. If your motor is frozen, then you're going to have to go ahead and cut those cables. So we're just going to go ahead and take a pair of, of uh, wire cutters. Because we see that that plate is frozen. That means the motor is frozen. And once we cut those... You're going to be able to move the plate up and down so you can release the glass from the regulator. So we're actually going to cut it on this bad one right here. This one's already frozen.
So you have to find the wires. You can you can find either either of the wires on the one on the bottom or the one on the top. The black one right there. We're just gonna go ahead and cut the one on the bottom. And make sure when you cut it, somebody's holding the glass up or you've taped it up with the masking tape already. That way it doesn't fall down on you. So you're gonna have to do that inside the door. And now you see the plate is moving freely. Now only do this when your regulator is useless because it is frozen. Since we're not gonna be using it again. And again, here are the access holes, which that plate is supposed to slide down and be visible in, where you see the 10 millimeter bolts to remove your glass. So now that we've cut the cable, we've moved the mounting plate down with, with the glass. We moved the glass down, so the glass was able to come down. We see the 10 millimeter bolts that are lined up with the access holes. So we're gonna go ahead and take the 10 millimeter socket and the extension on our ratchet and we're going to start undoing the bolts here here's what these two look like Now we want to go ahead and tape the glass up again. Make sure it doesn't bother us when we're going to be removing the rest of the window regulator and when we're putting the new one in. We like to we like to use uh, masking tape that way it doesn't leave any kind of glue that some strong tape like duct tape would leave on there. Now we're going to go ahead and put a few strips on there. That way we know we're just being a little more safe and doesn't fall down on us while we're working. So now we have the bolts of the regulator itself. We got two up top and we have about three, four, maybe five down below. So this first one on the, on the left on the top you actually don't need to undo it all the way because it has a groove that it can fall through on the door. That's why we just leave that one off, a, just untighten a little. Now this other one has to come out all the way. Same with this one down here. It has to come out all the way because it does not have a groove on it. That's basically what you do whenever you see a groove that it can slide through, you want to leave that on there. And that's going to be important when you're putting it back on because you're going to use that as a guide to put the window regulator back on. So now we're going to go ahead and slide these back through the holes on the door and this one right here I actually got to take this out first this one has a washer on it so remember th where that one goes okay so here we go pushing it through the door Push the top one also through the door. And then on the left side, you see that big hole where the door is. That's where everything pretty much comes out of. We gotta go ahead and get the wires, put those through the door frame also. Then the bad part can come out the door. Okay, so this is your new regulator, and you want to get the bolts off the old one and put it on like we've done here. Go ahead and put the 
the bolt on there. Then you got the two bolts right there, the ones that we did not fully remove. So you want to go ahead and set up your new regulator just like your old one came out. And you want to flip the motor to where it looks like this. You don't want to have it out open like that. You want to flip it in so it can, it can slide inside the door easily. So we're going to find we're going to find the grooves where those bolts will go inside. That's that's because we left them on to make it easy when we put it back on. So there's the top one, we just slide it in. Then we got to do it to the bottom also. Now we're going to fish the plugs back out of the out of the door panel, the door frame I should say. And then we can connect the door harness to the window regulator plug. And also the clips that we removed. We got to push those back in. Those white Ziploc clips. This only goes in one way, so you don't have to worry about it getting confusing. Then we can slide it back onto the clip that holds it on the door. And that's how you put that part back on. Now we proceed with the remaining four bolts. And remember that one with the washer where that went. That was kind of the one in the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and put those on by hand and then we're going to take the 10 millimeter socket and go ahead and, and drive those in. And then after we put them in, we're also going to drive in the, the ones that we kind of left loose, the ones that went inside the grooves of the door frame. So now that the new regulator is in and bolted up, step is to get the glass and line it up to the holes so we can bolt the glass back onto the regulator. So we're just going to go ahead, remove the tape, and slide the glass back down. We're going to slide it down until it stops. And right here, it's made contact, so it stops, and we know that it's ready to be screwed into that. Now we take our socket and 10 millimeter bolts. Now there's an issue here, kind of you want you got to be careful because those may fall out. Those bolts fall out when you get put them in socket. So the trick we've learned over the years: take a little bit of this sticky stuff off of the door seal or the seal, and we. We apply it right there on the edge of the socket and we put the bolt in. That way it keeps it in there nice and nice and firm. It doesn't fall out. And we can go ahead and screw that in to the regulator without it falling out. And we're not going to screw this bolt in all the way just yet. You want to get it in there where it's where it's just kind of in there a little bit. And we're going to put the other one in. That way we get an even and uh, an even tightening on the glass. And 
Now we're going to go ahead and tighten it back up all the way. So from here on, it should be pretty straightforward. Make sure you have everything mounted on. So we're going to take our tape out to get the weather seal back and stick it back on the door. We got a plug out here. You need to put the plug back in through the hole on the bag. And usually you'll, you'll still have some sticky stuff left on the weather seal that you can just kind of push back and it should stick on. But if not, like here, it might not be strong enough. So we're going to get some tape and put it on the edges. And you, you don't want to put it too far out because then when you put your door panel back on, you'll see tape. And you definitely don't want to put it too far back out to where you're going to cover the mounting holes where the pressure clips on the door panel came out of. So now we're going to go ahead and put the door panel back on. It's pretty much reverse order of how we put it on. We're going to go ahead and plug everything back up. Make sure the plugs are like the clip on that are on the door panel. Those clips need to slide into their sliders if they have uh, kind of like those clips that hold them on like that one. And we're going to start by putting the pulling the wires through the door handle. Making sure those are there and then making sure that rod is also there. The rod we pulled out from the beginning of the door handle. And we're going to put the top right of the door panel on. Slide that on and then make sure the lock goes through the hole on the left side of the door panel. And then make sure the top is firmly sitting down there. So we got that rod there and those two wires. Then we know we can push the clips into place just like we pulled them out of place. You might need to get your hand, kind of hit it down so it goes in pretty good. Okay, so then we have the screw that we pulled out, the Phillips. At the lower side of the door panel. We're just going to drive that back in. And at this point, or probably even earlier, you can you can test it. Make sure everything's working. You can plug in the window switch and go ahead and see if your window works. So knowing it works, putting it all back on, we're going to go ahead and put the door handle back in. Those L-hooks and these plugs right here go in. Got to get that rod back into its place. And it just goes through the clip. Make sure you don't break this. <laughs> Might be kind of fragile there. Put that in. Turn the clip back over till it pops onto the rod. And then get the L hooks back into the door frame. Get those in and then push it to the left once they are in. And we got our last step, which is to put the screw Phillips back into the hole. That's covered by the flat screw cap cover right there. Okay, and so that is how you place your window regulator on this TL. So we go ahead and test everything again one last time. Make sure the light on the bottom left is working. The lock is working on the door handle. Everything lights up and that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, let us know. If you would like a tutorial on something else, give us a message and we'll try our best to make it for you. Thank you.